didn't give you permission to photograph me. So before we head out and go and shoot the POV this morning, it's it's incredible light. I mean, you can't really see it, but it's it's amazing. Um, I just want to talk about these quickly. People have asked me about my GoPro setup and how I shoot in harsh lighting. I use the Polar Pro ND filters. I'll leave a link to these down below, but essentially it just fits on the front of the camera. Um, as you can see this bit here. Now, all of the photos in today's video are edited in my presets. There's 114 for 10 pound down in the description if you want to go and check them out. Morning guys, hope you're all good. How's everyone doing? Today I'm out with the Sony a7 IV and the 85 millimeter 1.4 from Samyang. As you can see, the lighting is sick. Look at it, it's really nice, crisp morning in London. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a walk from Piccadilly down towards maybe embankment area and just get some get some nice typical street shots as we go. Okay, so two guys that are gonna walk through the frame here on the other side of the street. Hopefully. Okay. That's really nice. Bam. Also, what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna change my drive mode. So normally I have it in continuous shooting height plus which allows me to shoot multiple shots of the subject going into the frame. Now, I'm gonna get rid of that, and we're gonna put it on single shot. Now, the reason I'm gonna do that is because it's gonna make it more difficult and make it more realistic to try and focus on the frame rather than just waiting for someone to walk close to the frame and just taking as many photos as possible. So I wanna try and get the frame directly with maybe just one shot. So as it's there, bam. So you can get kind of like a double exposure here, which I'm going to try and get now, which works. You can see that as an example, but essentially you want someone either side kind of walking into the frame. So I've come to this, uh, I've come to this shop uh, on the left hand side. You've got all these plants and everything. Obviously the light's lovely. And if you're facing here, it's a bit too harsh, right? So if I've got a subject walking towards me, it's a bit too much. Whereas if I come to the left hand side, and kind of use this as a frame. So you can put this and this in the foreground and then it enables you to have a bit of a frame and then you can get a subject in the middle. Well, let's just use the boss for a second. It's a nice shot. Let's just wait for maybe someone to walk through the frame. That's Lamborghini. Don't think I got that. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, I mean, it's on the screen. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're gonna get down a bit. And just using that as a frame, it's just really nice. I'm just gonna quickly cross over. And if I face back towards the uh, the shot where I just got that shot from, I'm just gonna wait for this uh, elderly couple to walk through the frame. If I go down a little bit more, I might be able to get them kind of through the bus. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but we'll try. Oh my good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot. Oh my god, that's well, that worked out so well. So I used the bus in the foreground. I locked the focus onto the subject on the other side by using autofocus and then swapping to manual focus in the back of the screen, on the back of the camera. And I am honestly fucking happy with that shot. Okay, so shot here. Kind of like the contrast between the shadow and the light. Quite like that. Okay, 640th of a second. F5.6, I say 125. So this is the National Gallery. It's like a back walkway to the National Gallery and the lighting is actually sick. There's a dude walking up the steps now. And I think I could probably get a good shot of him with that background on his own, if I can. Such a great shot. Morning. Yeah, it looks really nice because of the, I got yourself there walking into the frame. You got me in there? Yeah, look, you look great. Pardon? You look great, look. Because of the framing of the... Uh, I didn't give you permission to photograph me. You're in public space, unfortunately. 
Ah oh, yes, but I can ask for copyright on that. You can do. <laughs> <laughs> I can send it to you if you want me to. I'm joking. I know you are. I'm joking. But it's a, it's a nice frame. Are you a, are you a professional photographer? Nice. Oh, it's nice just to be out and. Yeah. Do you know it's it's nice to be back and doing things now after this lockdown because. Um, it's made me appreciate human company more. That's why I would normally. Hundred percent. I, I wouldn't normally have come and spoken to you, but. <laughs> I like your accent, Welsh, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Whereabouts? Yes. I'm from. It's always good to have really good in, uh, interactions with people, and the dude also so happened to be Welsh, which was uh, obviously a common point for for both of us. And he, he did like the photo as well, which was good. Um, he didn't want it. I did offer to send it to him, but he didn't uh, didn't want it. It was shot at five hundredth of a second, f four point five, ISO one two five. Now over here. There's a kind of a nice business shadow from the uh, monument in Trafalgar Square, and I'm thinking maybe one alone subject. Probably get it now, actually. Uh, yeah, one alone subject with their like shadow on the back wall. I think would look really nice. Okay, so two people walking through the frame now. I've got the shadow on the right hand side of the frame. We're at 500th of a second, f5.6, ISO 125. I think I think there's potential frame here shooting through this here, which is nice. Let's just tap a normal space. I'm gonna do one in landscape and we'll do one in portrait. And you also get like a double exposure as well. I'm gonna pull focus through the glass, so manual focus, pull it through the glass. So I'm going to use the corner of this like um, statue if someone walks down the stairs. Okay, some dude's going to walk into the frame now. Love that. Washed it. We'll take that. A runner going through the frame on the other side of the road. I'm trying to pick my spot. It's going this way. Perfect. There we go. I think that works. Pocket of light over there, and I'm just waiting for these two people to walk into the into the light. Okay, so there's a shot here of people going into embankment station. Put it in landscape, 640th per second, f5.6. Uh, ISO 125. Sweet. Definitely got a, a usable amount there. I don't really want to go over the river, so we'll go, we'll go up this way and then kind of cut back left up towards um, like uh, Covent Garden area. Okay, nice shot here. Landscape, 500th per second, F5, ISO 125. Okay, going to push down onto Covent Garden. Uh, and then probably finish around here and then gonna have a look at the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting giving me some inspiration in the content that you're creating and yeah it's just been nice to be out this morning and it's like super chilly but it's nice it's quite a cool shot because out of all the posts those two are yeah. i think that's a nice hectic frame okay shot here 500 per second f5.6 iso 125 yeah you look beautiful <laughs> so yeah great shot love that shot very like um, in the moment he was in the middle of a conversation I think we'll end it on that so let's open the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days now, before we look at the hashtag, uh, if you do want to see my full uh, POV setup, then I'll leave a link to all of it down in the description. Is that going to fit on there? Yes. I'll leave it down in the uh, in the description for you guys to check it out. But uh, basically, cheapest strap that you can find on Amazon, GoPro 10, um, and then 
the uh, the ND filters. Now, before we look at the hashtag, I want you to comment down below your favorite photo from today's POV and include your Instagram handle. I'm gonna choose one of you at random in seven days time from today to win a random prize. So comment below, make sure you include your Instagram handle and let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. Okay, the hashtag optical wonder is up to 280,000 posts. We're gonna to go to the most recent. We're gonna do a little scroll refresh and then we're gonna go from there. There's two that already caught my eye straight away. This one here of an Aston Martin badge, really love that. Um, when you are shooting in London or a big city, then use the advantage that the fact there's beautiful cars laying around the, the city or wherever you are, take photos of it and use it as your own kind of like portfolio. It's a good, uh, good little tip. Next one was this one. This was really clean, I really like that. I love the corner of the building. It's really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Clean but simplistic, that's the word, simplistic. And I think sometimes simplicity in photos is just, oh, it's so much better. Um, and let's go down, let's go with, I like this shot, this street shot's nice, I like that. Nice little set there, that one's sick. That third one is really, really good. I really like that a lot, great shot. Um, going down a bit more, uh, again with the simplicity tones, look at this. Wow, love that. Um, one of Tower Bridge, Tower Bridge at night, like that blue hour is just, it's really, it's really nice. Um, that one, wow. Again, simplicity, look at like, look, it's such a, like a simple thing. It's just balconies, but what a great shot. I love that, really love the shot. Um, let's do two more, we'll do two more photos. Let's go with, this portrait shot's nice. Nice little set from, uh, Jack, Jackie Visual, oh my God, I'm so terrible at pronouncing names. But that first one, I really like that first one. And then we'll do one more. Uh, let's go with, that's nice. I like that. The, uh, the single subject on their own walking through the frame is really nice. And we'll just do this one because I've just saw it. Black and white, uh, which brings me on to uh, a video that I wanna do in the, in the near future. I did a black and white POV before um, and I want to do another one. So I'm going to do another one soon. Um, in February, I've got some stuff coming up that I'm quite excited to share with you. Um, but I can't, I'm not going to share it until it happens. So if you're interested, subscribe and then you'll get notified when I let you guys know. Um, I've also got some like hoodies and stuff coming out soon as well. So with all that being said, create more, stress less. And uh, if you want to see some behind the scenes and some more stuff, head over to Instagram and uh, come and say hello.